Welcome to the online platform, Education Unlimited, as we continue our surge into math. Today's presentation will be on trigonometry. Again, I ask that you like, share, and subscribe to this channel. In addition, you may leave your comments in the comment section. I hope that you enjoy today's presentation. One might ask a question, what is trigonometry? What is trigonometry? As we pull the marker, let us use the highlighter to highlight the prefix tri. So the prefix tri in the word trigonometry means three. So trigonometry is the study of the measures of the angles and sides of a triangle. Notice that a triangle has three sides. Three sides. It also has three angles. So one angle is here, one angle is here, and another angle is here. So hence the term triangle and also hence the term trigonometry because trigonometry is a study of the measures of the angles and sides of a triangle. Let us look at the first characteristic of a triangle, in that the sum of the interior angles must equal to 180 degrees. For example, if this angle is 65 degrees and this angle is 55 degrees, and the other angle is the unknown angle of x degrees. Let's label this angle A, this one angle B, and this one angle C. So that to find angle C, you'd say angle C is equal to 180 degrees minus 65 degrees plus 55 degrees. Let's put a degree sign on both and also let us close the bracket so that angle C would be equal to 180 degrees, 65 degrees plus 55 degrees is 120 degrees, so that's 180 degrees minus. 120 degrees to find angle C. Therefore, angle C would be equal to 60 degrees. Using the first uh, or main, one of the main characteristics in triangles, the sum of the interior angles must equal to 180 degrees. So the second characteristic of a triangle is that the sum of any two sides length of a triangle must be greater than the length of the third side. For example, let us label this angle, angle A, there we go, and this side, angle B, 
and this angle, angle C, so this is angles, 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 so that the side opposite angle B, we label side B, and we equate it to seven centimeters. The side opposite angle A, we label side A, and we equate it to four centimeters. Then the side opposite angle C, we label side C and we equate it to six centimeters. So that if we if we were to add side C and B to get a total of 13 centimeters. That total in length would be greater than four centimeters, which is the length of side A. So it holds for the characteristic that the sum of any two sides length must be greater than the length of the third side of a triangle. We now look at the types of triangles. So the first type of triangle that we look at is the equilateral triangle. In this triangle, all angles and all sides are equal in that the sides of all angles are the same and the length of all sides are equal. Let's pull up the marker. So in this one, we realize that this angle is 60 degrees. So this angle must be 60 degrees. And this angle must be 60 degrees. All angles are equal in size. And the length, all sides are equal in length. For example, if this was seven centimeters, this side must also be seven centimeters in length. And this side must also be seven centimeters in length length. Let us put the unit. Let's remember to put the unit centimeters and this must also be seven centimeters. As we continue to look at types of triangles, let's now look at the isosceles triangle. This triangle has two angles that are equal in size and two sides that are equal in length. For example, if this angle is 65 degrees and this angle is 65 degrees, 65 and 65 gives us 130. So 130 from 180 would leave us with 50 degrees. So that this angle would be 50 degrees. Let me look at the sides. These angles make a total of 180 degrees. 
and then this side must be equal in length to this side. So hence we have an isosceles triangle where two angles in the cursor, this angle must be equal to this angle and the length of this side must be equal to the length of this side. Two angles are equal in size and two sides are equal in length, an isosceles triangle. As we continue, we now look at the scalene triangle. In this triangle, all angles are different in size and all sides are different in length. For example, this angle was 30 degrees. And this angle was 110 degrees. So 110 and 30 give us 140. So 180 minus 140 gives us 40. So this angle must be 40 degrees for the total angles in the triangle to be 180 degrees. So notice none of the angles are the same, scaling. Also, none of the sides are the same. So let us give an example that this side is 11 centimeters. Not known to scale, but this side looked like the longest side. And this side, 8 centimeters. And then this side, 7. Centimeters. So, this is a scaling triangle in which none of the sides are equal in length and none of the angles are equal in size. As we have now come to the last part of our presentation, we will look briefly at a right angle triangle. The definition, a right angle triangle is one in which at least one interior angle must equal to 90 degrees. So that at angle C here, you see the sign here of a box that represents a right angle triangle. Angle A is here, angle B is here, also the side opposite angle A is side A, common A, and the side opposite angle C is side C, common C, and the side opposite angle B is B, common B. This is a right angle triangle. Our next presentation will be on the Pythagorean theorem and the next presentation that follows that one will be on trig ratios where we look at sine cosine and tangent as usual i ask that you like the videos share and subscribe if this presentation was of use to you and if you enjoy the presentation also you may leave your comments in the comment section. Have a very good day.